hello okay now we go to the subsequent sections of the tutorial um, let me recap we have done company code config chart of account config these two we have not done yet we'll look at it later on now creation of master data once we have done these two we have done the GL account setup remember we created a GL uh, what you call a chart of account and then created a GL account one by one guess what it is and therefore we have done this GL accounts creation and here it shows the menu path and the T code remember the T code I use frequently FS00 this is the one here all right the next master data that we need to create is the customer master data right customer master data so we're going to see this now okay let me do that uh, okay go here accounting financial accounting account receivable master records create you know why we go to account receivable because customers are created under account receivable master records double click this change your company code to sun and I need to explain something about this account group so you have a lot of account groups here this is something like a classification of the customer that you're going to create these are the classifications we have or groupings or categorization or whatever you call it all refers to the same thing so I'm going to classify the customer that I'm going to create as trade customers see this we have wholesale customers so you can separate the type of customers accordingly but I'm not going to confuse a lot on this just stick to trade customers until you become well versed with SAP then later on I'll explain what is customer other customer groups is all about this, the other thing I want to explain about this account group is that you can define your own account group in the IMG okay I'll show this later on in the advanced training session just uh, understand that we're going to choose account group trade customers here because if I branch out and then explain how to create an account group custom defined account group it will complicate the whole tutorial and it will never become a simple tutorial anymore because the objective of this tutorial is to make sure it is as simple as possible so that you can have an overview of the SAP operations before we go into advanced topics so just bear in mind SAP is not very simple as what I'm explaining now it's more complex than this but we will look into the complexity one by one later on okay create customers Sun click OK now this is very simple just to choose mr. Or whatever I'm not going to choose mr. because it's a company so choose a company uh, let me just put customer a yep country is just put Great Britain GB Great Britain now you can fill the street number and postal codes country and blah 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 but I'm not going to do that same address check I've already created a customer call A so let's go for B customer B control data okay I need to explain a lot of things here but let me explain only the important things right now right nothing much I have to explain about here this only important thing we have is the vendor control here you might be wondering why there is a vendor field in the customer master data setup I will explain this later on it's basically to link a vendor to customer but there's more things to explain now let me not confuse you right now just go to the next step payment transactions this is where you key in the bank account of this customer normally we don't have to maintain a bank account for the customer we only maintain bank account for vendors to make payments to vendors because normally we receive payment from customer 
so therefore there's no need for us to maintain a bank code bank information for customers I will show you how to maintain the bank information for vendors later on let's go to other things yeah all the steps are not really important so don't confuse yourself too much yes okay let me click this company code data okay you see this recon account is found under the company code data so this is the important thing you need to define you need to link it to this GL account recon account is a GL account that we have created earlier you need to link each and every customers to a GL account which is a reconciliation account so that any postings made to these customers are posted to the respective GL account because remember when you post a sales invoice for a customer that sales invoice amount need to be posted to the GL account right only then it will reflect in your financial statement and P&L so how do we link the customer code to the respective GL account is using this recon account field here when I click this I'll see the, all the GL accounts which is defined as a recon account for customers let me just show you this okay it's worth showing this let me open up FS00 okay we have plenty of accounts here huh? right but what makes the system to show only this particular account here I'll show you why this the one right yeah this the one okay the answer to this is that let's go here press enter control data you see this recon account type for customer this is the flag or what do you call that the switch which tells the system that this is the recon account for customers so that's the reason when you click zoom button here you will see only this GL account and not the other GL accounts because if we go to other GL accounts that flag will not be set as customers let me just go to machinery I come here you see it is a recon account for assets this account so there's no point showing it here alright let me just choose one more account say cash in bank yeah see it's totally empty right so that's why it's not being displayed here all right you can save it now yes I've created a recon account I mean sorry a customer account five double zero one in company code Sun let me just display that you can press this to display or the other way to display is just quit come to here see so you just enter the customer number you must remember the customer number 5001 click ok see it's the one I created I go to general data see let me explain something about general data and the company code data basically all customer master data will have two sections called company code data where we can see one two three four tabs and general data where there are three tabs here okay I'll explain what's the difference between general data and company code data later on in the additional training session okay we can go to the next